welcome to welcome back to another video my name is india and today i'm not doing my typical omad video i will be giving you a full day of eating i'm doing fruit only i'm still gonna be doing a form of intermittent fasting so guys come hang out with me and let's try to have some fun So yeah, it is Sunday. I'm not doing my typical one meal for the day. Usually on the weekends, I stick with OMAD, but lately I have not been sticking with my OMAD diet and that's completely fine. If you're someone and you're trying to be perfect, stop. Um, Y'all, I just realized I'm filming this with only one earring on. I just got back from Dollar Tree with my kiddo. We kind of got out the house a little bit. We went to Ikea and the Dollar Tree. And my earring fell out. So we just gonna, we gonna go with it or whatever. It is actually, it's actually almost 530. I've been filming little clips of my food throughout the day. I'm going to insert that. This is really the first time that, that I'm looking like something. I have not been presentable whatsoever this day. And when I say presentable, I mean not looking like a bum. You get what I'm saying? And so I figure I'd just jump on here right now, introduce the video, and then we'll take it from there. So enjoy these clips and let's get caught up. Here is my first meal of the video. I decided not to fast. Um, I'm, I'll probably still do a form of intermittent fasting. It's a little past 10 a.m. I've already had some coffee, but let's break this down. I just had some bananas, some um, cherry tomatoes, and some blueberries. The bananas are going to be 383 calories. The tomatoes, 54 calories, and the blueberries are 63 calories. It's a pretty big plate. Um, it's gonna be around 500 calories. So this is my first meal of the video. It is 154. I'm about to eat these two apples. This is around 140 calories. I have barely moved today. So I am about to prepare my third and final meal of the video. Uh, this is it. I don't know how these are going to look when I cut them open, but if it's too bad, I just won't use them. They've been in my fridge for a while. Really what inspired me to do this video was the amount of ripe bananas that I have. I always buy two bundles at a time and then they'll be green for a while and then the next day they'll look like this. So <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get these gone within the next couple of days. But yeah, I'll, I'll do all of these today. I might add an extra one here, but I'm about to prepare uh, my food and we'll be back. Look, saint versus sinners, the poor versus riches, top ramen place versus five star dinners. Wonder why I fit it, the humblest beginnings. Can I just say these avocado look great? If you want to preserve your avocado for a little longer, I always put them in the refrigerator. When I get mine, I might set them out for a day if I really want to use them, but put those things in the refrigerator, please. Look at that. This is it guys. This is my third and final meal. Do you see it? Do you see it? Of course we are counting these calories cause that is just what I do. That is what I will always do. If you are doing fruit only, listen, you do not need to count calories. If you're doing a fruit only diet, any kind of mono diet, you don't need to count calories because it is going to be very difficult for you to overeat your calories when you're only restricted to fruit. But anyways, with that being said, um, the apples over here are 150 calories. These bananas, that's 450 grams of banana, which is going to be the highest calorie thing um, that I'm eating. Not today, but since I'm eating so many of them, it's going to be high. So that's 401 calories. The oranges are 76 calories. And this avocado here, this is 288 calories. So this is a lot. I always have my, you know, most of my calories towards the end of the day. Um, it is almost 6.15. 
And so I'm gonna get this going in a minute. But this whole plate right here is 915 calories. If you're adding up everything from the day, um, including my coffee, I had coffee a lot earlier for about 135 calories. Everything I had today is only 1,695 calories. And I ate a lot of food on purpose because this is just how I eat. I prefer bigger portions. And so that's exactly what I do. I prioritize eating whole foods and foods that are high in nutrients and low in calories, guys. That's just what I do. So um, let's talk real quick and then we'll wrap the video up. This video is just in time. Somebody requested, maybe less than 24 hours ago, someone requested that I do a video of me eating fruit only, but not only me just showing my meals, but actually talking about um, the hunger pains that are associated with you know a very restrictive diet or just eating fruit only and they want some tips or just something some kind of motivation on how to not be so hungry or how to deal with hunger when eating fruit only i'll actually put it on the screen the comment that was left for me and let me tell you guys whenever you leave me a comment i'm gonna read it i'm gonna respond however needed but i do see the comments and so the one thing I do want to talk about when you are eating fruit only is to make sure you are eating enough of it. We live in a society to where portion control is preached and I get it. I love it. You know, all things in moderation, right? Even moderation. But it, it's getting to a point where we're not eating enough fruits or vegetables. And you know what? I'm not trying to encourage anyone to overeat. That's not what I'm doing. But I notice a lot of the time when I'm seeing other videos online, when I'm seeing other people, you know, try to participate in these challenges to where they're only eating fruit or only eating vegetables or only eating raw foods. To be honest, it's not enough food. It's not enough calories. Um, I've seen people eating as little as like 600 calories a day in fruit. And then when you go and you try to do that for multiple days in a row, that's just, that's not sustainable. That's not going to work. So the first thing you need to do is to make sure you are eating enough of the fruit. Okay. If you get to a point, you feel like you're just eating so much fruit and you're eating a lot, eat a little more. Okay. Um, you see my portions here. I consider myself like, I eat more than the average person. My appetite is bigger than the average person. So if it's hard for someone like me to go over their calories while eating fruit only, watermelon only, then I'm pretty sure the average person, the typical person, they're not going to go over their calories when eating a lot of fruit. Um, a lot of people are doing this for healing benefits. A lot of people are doing this for weight loss. If you are doing this for weight loss, do not worry about the calories in fruit. As long as it's whole, you know, single ingredient. Now, don't go out here eating apple pie thinking that's a fruit fast now because I can't help you. <laughs> Don't go out there eating ultra processed foods because that's just one thing I can't help you with. But you, if you are eating a whole fruit, it's going to be hard for you to go over your calories. So make sure you are eating enough. Now, as far as juicing, uh, the same thing, drink enough juice. The thing with juicing that for me, I just prefer eating the whole fruits or the whole foods. Um, Juicing is not necessary for me because I eat enough. A lot of people use juicing and smoothies to make sure they're getting their fruits in, their vegetables in, but I don't need that because I actually like eating. I like the action of chewing. So eat enough. That's um that's the advice I have for you. Also, the foods are very filling. They have a lot of fiber. It's going to stay in your system for a while because your body is going to break down that fiber. You know, I know a lot of people are against the whole notion of just fruit only because you know you're lacking protein and you're lacking your fats but there are a lot of fruits that do have fat like avocado so make sure you're taking advantage of that and i will say if you're a person you get flavor fatigue you don't like a lot of sweets there are a lot of savory fruits that you can eat um tomato avocado you can eat cucumbers i remember one video i was doing to where um 
I was doing a week of fruit only and the sweets, it was getting to me. And so I said, you know, let me try something different. So I made a cucumber and tomato salad. I topped it off with some avocado. It was the best thing ever. And it was the biggest salad ever. I did not hold back on the portions whatsoever. Again, you don't have to count your calories. You don't have to worry about your portions when you're doing this. Um, if you want something sweet, if you're craving, you know, something a little bit sweeter, there are fruits that are sweeter, mango, banana. So there's there's a variety um, that you can incorporate when you're doing fruit only. So take advantage of that. Guys, am I talking a lot? I don't know if I'm talking a lot or not. But if you made it this far in this video, consider subscribing to my channel. Just wanted to upload something real quick, guys. Thank you for watching. Good luck on your journeys and I will see you in the next one.